I'm here to tell you about the fantastic Name the Game series from Australian Football Video. Now there's over 200 games available, including final series, state games, night premierships and the best home and away matches of the 91 and 92 seasons. Not just the highlights, not just the last quarter, but a hundred minutes of top footy action. So pick up your free catalogue at any Brasher store. And remember, footy brings out the best in a person. From Australian football video comes the most exciting footy decade ever, the electrifying 80s. See the marks and the sparks, the tragic and the magic, the misses and the kisses, the preacher and the creature, the flyers and the messiahs, the sneaks and the cheeks, the cunning stunts and the stunning punts. See the thrills, the spills, the skills and the deals. The electrifying 80s, the perfect gift for that special footy sickness. Welcome to Dacos Hot Shots. During my career with Collingwood, kicking goals from impossible angles has become my trademark, and I posted a lot of them here at home in front of all you loyal fans. Today we're going to take a look back at some of them the snaps, the long bombs, and the freak goals. Collingwood wanting goal fans. Along the way, I'll try and give you a bit of insight into what I was thinking when I kicked some of these goals. I'll also rank the 10 goals which have given me the most pleasure. But first, we'll start with some of those snaps. <laughs> Dacos a chance from 30 metres. This is where he can bend them back so dangerously and so well, and he's done it again. Dacos and Morrissey. Morrissey did it well, but the brilliant Dacos has got it. Around the corner goes Dacos. Peter Dacos is gold again. Dacos loves these, and he kicks it. Dacos, a freak. A magnificent goal by Peter Dacos. Warsfold's hip and shot on the ball. The Dacos snap. What a gem. Well done, Ops. Dacos. Don't tell me. Don't tell me, yes. Try and get it out. The dangerous Dacos. What can he do? He runs to the boundary line, hooks it back, and slams it through for a great goal. Oh, he can't pick it up. Like a piece of soap. He goes for the hand pass. Dacos loves these. Snaps and gets it.
up forward. Now, this is the brilliant Dacos with a quick kick. I think he might have put it through Peter Dacos. He has. stays down at the back. It's knocked away by Keyes. Here's the magician near the boundary line. 30 metres out, Peter Dacos. Three kicks, three goals! Well, they don't come any better than that. That is one of the goals of the season. Kicks it up to Dacos. Dacos against Tom Elvin. Dacos under the left foot. Is this a miraculous goal? A brilliant effort by Dacos. Good block by Harding. Dacos always dangerous. Snap shot is brilliant for a goal. Over the back, Dacos versus Hockey. Dacos Hockey. Oh, yeah, showed superior pace in Hockey. Dangerous here, though. Dacos from the boundary. Oh, an amazing goal. Well, what about that? Inside the centre square, Dacos is free to early, comes back, knock the ball away, Barwick, back towards Dacos, 45 metres out, open goal square, that's a magnificent snap. He brings it in towards Harford, Gowers at the back, the dangerous Dacos, here's a goal coming up, Peter Dacos around the corner, great goal. Rocker, Bays let it slip through, Rocker around the corner, handball to the Mercurial one, and Dacos pops through his second. In they go after in front of the Collingwood goal. They wouldn't want to let Dacos get it. They do. Peter Dacos on the left foot. Oh, brilliant goal. Wine makes a mistake. Takes forever. Oh. McEwen caught. Dacos goal. Left foot puts it through. And Collingwood is back. Well, those snap goals are... Uh... Uh, pretty difficult, uh, they are probably the most unorthodox kick uh, to be used when kicking for goal or even generally on a football ground. I think the hardest thing with snap goals is keeping your balance. I think what you've got to remember is that you're, you're not standing still, you're not kicking a drop punt, you're not kicking a torpedo, so it makes it a lot harder because when kicking for goal with, with uh, snapping the ball you're running away from the goals and you've got to try and bring the ball back so you're virtually throwing your body out one way, going away from the goals, and then hooking your, your foot, coming back in towards the goal. So if you're sort of looking at the football like this, think, think of my hand as my foot. So as I'm running away from the goals, the goals are to my left, I'm running to the right. What you've got to try and do, the only way that ball's going to end up to my left is if it's, if it's kicked there. So if you kick the ball front on, all it's going to do is go naturally straight out or towards the camera. But when running away from the goals, I've got to, you've got to try and get as much balance as possible, which is hard because you've got someone chasing you. And, uh, and at the last, or the point of execution, say, you've got to slow down a two or three steps, which makes it hard again because, you've, as I said earlier, you've got someone chasing you. You've then got to slow down, get as much balance as possible, and then be trying to hook the ball around. Let's move to one of the more spectacular kicks in football, the banana kick.
holds the pocket over the head of Thompson and goes. Dacos, this is where he's at his best. The master. odds on to kick this. It's through. He's a freak. As he kicks it up to Dacos. Dacos against Tom Elvin. Dacos under the left foot. Is this a miraculous goal? A brilliant effort by Dacos. He's not wasting any time getting the ball moving. Great bump by Darren Malay. In comes Brown. Collingwood lifting. Brown right on the boundary line. Back to Malay likewise. Dacos nearly runs out of room. Oh, He's goal! Oh. Magnificent goal! Dacos stays down at the back. Knocked away by Keyes. Here's the magician near the boundary line. 30 metres out, Peter Dacos. Three kicks, three goals! Dacos. Well done, Ops. Dacos. Don't tell me. Don't tell me, yes! Hand ball over the top was too severe for McMullen. He's going to go for Dacos. Can the ball sit? Oh, look at this. Great stuff, Dacos. Collingwood goal. <laughs> Here's Dacos. From the pocket. Well, you'd expect that. Should have been a mark. What's it? Dacos. Here's a goal. He often gets those. Look at that one. Magnificent stuff. Over the back, Dacos versus Hockey. Dacos Hockey. Oh, yeah. Showed superior pace in Hockey. Dangerous here, though. Dacos from the boundary. Oh, an amazing goal. Well, what about that? Lawrence wins this. Last, last minute goal for the Pies. Dacos gets a sight of them and kicks it. <laughs> Amazing years. Williams takes him on, gets around, and kicks it to Dacos. And now he normally kicks these. Watch this one for Peter. Right kick, an up and under job. Dacos both positioned well. Goes back, snapshot, looks good. First goal of the match. Scott Russell, little kick, fantastic. Dacos will kick a goal. Beautiful football by Collingwood, premiership stuff. Let's play on quickly. Keeping the forward line open. Dacos will be there about, there he is. Gets away from Spud Frawley, kicks a goal. Looks like number eight, the goal on passes. Yes, sir.
Dacos has just kicked one, and he's now kicked another. Back come the Pies. Up towards half forward. Starsevich up with a hand. Dacos at the back. Ambles into goal and pops through yet another one. Francis to the pocket. Dacos. Oh, really grabbed it again. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes. <laughs> goal number 10. Yes. Yes. Great performance by the Magpie champ. Tudnam towards full forward. Dacos at the back. The shepherding. Can Williams pick it up? He can now. Off to Dacos. And bang, there is number 12. Back to Dacos. The miracle man needs to work something here and do it fast. There's one goal back for the Magpie. So Peter Dacos looking for his third. Hinkley had to stop him, but it's going to cost a goal. It has. Three goals to Peter Dacos in this quarter. So the ball's sticking today. It's not greasy. He did have a light shower here around about half past one. Dacos again, second mark, almost as spectacular. I'm sure you'd agree, John Scott. Yes, well, Kane Taylor may be worrying more about Dacos and the ball. And again, getting in front, but not having the strength to retain his footing. Dacos kicks a goal and gets it between centre and centre-half forward. Now he plays on, kicks it in the pocket. Dacos has got five metres. Well, now he's got Davenport on him, and Davenport, they were jostling the two of them. And Dacos slipped away at the critical moment and got five metres on Davenport. He's a key player, uh, Peter Dacos. Kicked eight goals last week against Fitzroy. And Collingwood, I believe, were quite fortunate to get away with that. Three marks he's taken already. But more importantly, Peter, it could be Dacos that's uh, kicked most of the Collingwood score after this kick. Drop punt kick. Looks pretty good. He's happy. Peter Dacos. Morewood kicks from outside 50. Dacos in front, yes, and takes the mark. Four marks to Peter Dacos. And coming in for kick number six. He's already kicked two goals. Only place is in front. For his third, directly in front, Peter Dacos. He doesn't miss those, and he hasn't missed that one. Dacos and Rice, a little nudge again. He got penalised for that earlier, not this time. He used his hands earlier. That time he just held him out, shoulder or elbow into the back, and then went back. Dacos has kicked 5 1. He's now kicked 6 1. And now Francis snares it and does well. Francis round onto the left foot, kicks it to within scoring distance. Dacos has got it again. Well, it sounds like a record that's been stuck. But Peter Dacos is just giving us an absolute exhibition of brilliant football in extremely difficult conditions. The difference between the two teams is this magical person here, number 35 for Collingwood. He has these days occasionally, doesn't he? Oh, he's a champion. And look, he doesn't make any mistake. Well, Peter Dacos pretty good at uh, making the umpire notice things, Pete, isn't he? He's got the kick and kicks the goal. Kicking the goal number eight, the Collingwood champ puts it through. Well, here he is, Peter Dacos, goal number 13, and it's home. <laughs> Dacos. Oh, strength. Strength and use of the body. Well done, Peter Dacos. Oh, skill. skill is unbelievable. Just a little bit of magic he weaved there. And then sets up and drills it through.
think what if he goes to the big talk and puts it through. Here he goes. Torpedo doesn't quite get on to it. Might be a goal anyway. Oh, what poor defence by Geelong. To Dacos, will he go to the torpedo punt? Now, the crowd will await. Yes, he is going to the torpedo punt. Have a look at it. A brilliant kick by Dacos. A 65 <laughs> metre kick right through the middle. Well, you picked that one, Pete. He finds Dacos. Collingwood wanting goals badly. Dacos lets go with a torpedo punt. It's a magnificent kick! Can that lift the Maggies? Here's Dacos. Oh, look at the magician there. At work. He might try a torpedo here, he does. And thumps it. Look at that! It's home! One of the most spectacular kicks in football is a torpedo punt. It's funny really, you hear players always say, you ask a player what he, how he'd love to win a game, and it's always at the 28 minute mark, the side to be two points down, you go back from 60 yards out and you kick a big bomb or a torpedo and it sails through the big sticks. It's certainly a kick that is fantastic when you get onto it and a kick that at the same time that's very, very hard to perfect. I think more importantly, when, when trying to kick a torpedo, it's got to be a standing shot, not on the run, and you've got to have all the balance in the world and at the same time be taking all the time in the world when trying to, to kick a torpedo off. It's a, certainly a kick that, that can break the opposition's hearts, but at the same time can also send your uh, supporters and teammates uh, confidence spiralling down when the ball slews off the side of your boot. It is one of the most spectacular kicks in football and is one of my favourites, certainly. This is how it's done. Now let's go to a few of these freak goals where the ball's bounced end on end and I suppose Lady Luck's been on my side and the ball's gone through. Across the face of goal, Dacos and Gaston. He gets a kick. Don't tell me he's kicked that. I will not believe it. Brown right on the boundary line. Back to Mullane, likewise. Dacos nearly runs out of room. Oh, he's ball. Magnificent goal. Good kick by Lehman into the breeze. Dacos stays down at the back. It's knocked away by Keyes. Here's the magician near the boundary line. 30 metres out, Peter Dacos. Three kicks. Three goals! Rocker, too far underneath the ball. Dacos has been quiet. Off the ground. Mr Magic has done it! Oh, what a magnificent goal! Positive thrust by Collingwood. Down towards Dacos and Hockey. Dacos got a hand on. Oh, he controlled it beautifully, and he's done it again. 187 games coming into today. Drifts that across the face. McEwen almost from behind. Dacos in front has kicked it. Over the back, Dacos versus Hockey. Dacos Hockey. Oh, he yeah, showed superior pace in Hockey. Dangerous here, though. Dacos from the boundary. Oh, an amazing goal. Well, what about that? Kicks long, up towards full forward. Oh, the mark fumbled down there by Rice. Dacos off the ground, gets going in the foul. Odds against, but he's odds on to kick this. It's through. He's a freak. In the line. Ducked in the boundary line. Pulls it in with his left foot. Oh, is it not? He went to fly it away, and it's Dacos at the back. Into the pocket he goes. A little too far. Dacos at the back. Can he produce something special here? The lead is on. Dacos versus Zanotti. Brilliantly done, Dacos. Can he kick another one? He rolls it in towards goal. <laughs> Five goals, Peter Dacos. Brilliant exhibition. No one can break clear. Attempt to the advantage of Dacos. Look at the gather. The right foot snap. This is a miraculous kick.
Dacos. Well done, Ops. Dacos. Don't tell me. Don't tell me yes! Remember, it was in the second quarter. Um, I was tussling with Andrew Ops, and it was probably one of those quick um, snap goals. Um, I was quite fortunate with it because if you, if you look at it closely, you know, uh, once I do get hold of the ball, my balance isn't uh, all that great. I'm sort of more mid-air and uh, stretching. And I was just fortunate that I did kick the ball uh, end, you know, end over end and it, and it went straight. Normally when you lob the ball in the air like that, I mean, it could go to the left, go to the right, bounce back into play. And I suppose with that one, I was very fortunate that it did go in. Dacos. Collingwood wanting goals badly. Dacos lets go with a torpedo punt. It's a magnificent kick! Can that lift the Maggies? My favourite kick, and one I, I, I like using, uh, is a torpedo punt. And this one was against Hawthorne out of VFL Park in 1992. I think it was through the, uh, midway through the third quarter. Uh, and I think more importantly, as I did say earlier, I think um, it was from a standing shot and I think the kick is better suited to a standing shot when there's, I suppose, less pressure on you. Um, a very hard kick to, to get off while uh, being on the run. Um, I was um, about Sinar Ford on a half or flank, um, went back. As I said earlier, more importantly, I was balanced. I tried to get it as close to the goal square as I could and it was just one of those kicks that you, you do get onto them and um, she sailed through on the full. Four behind initially, and then kept it off with a beautiful goal. Rocker, too far underneath the ball. Dacos has been quiet. Off the ground, Mr Magic has done it! Oh, what a magnificent goal! I was playing on Stephen Silvani. I remember the ball being kicked to a couple of players that contesting went over their head I just happened to be in front wall, which was more importantly, I was in front. Um, the ball went through my legs, so I was quite fortunate that, that Stephen ran past me as well. And it was more a reflex thing because he was pressuring me, he was right there. Had I just picked the ball up off the ground, he would have tackled me straight away. And not knowing basically where he was uh, behind me made it pretty hard for me to then take a chance of picking up the ball. I wasn't too far. Um, away, I was probably only 10, 15 yards out on a slight angle, and I suppose I, I took my chances, knew where the goals were, soccered the ball off the ground, and uh, and the ball went through for a goal. Over the back, Dacos versus Hocking. Dacos Hocking. Oh, yeah, showed superior pace in Hocking. Dangerous here, though. Dacos from the boundary. Oh, an amazing goal. Well, what about that? The ball went out close to the boundary line. It was one of those where I didn't get a lot of time to think about what I was going to do. Stephen Hocking again was right there, uh, which I suppose most of the time you have got a backman breathing uh, down your neck, which makes it a little bit harder to um, have time to think about what you're going to do. It was one of those where uh, I had a crowd of players there. It was very hard to try and, and kick the ball back into the centre of the ground. Um, so I. I Looked up, glanced up, there was no one in the goal square and my only thoughts were of kicking the ball as hard as I could towards the goal line and hoping that when it did bounce it wasn't going to take a uh, jump back into play or take a, a leg break or anything like that, that it was going to sail straight through with the force at which I kicked it. Positive thrust by Collingwood, down towards Dacos and Hockey. Dacos got a hand on it. Oh, he controlled it beautifully. We both fell to the ground, and again, one of those where if you had have taken the ball, um, straight, picked it up straight off the ground, he would have uh, tackled you straight away. And it was one of those more instinctive goals that all I could do was try and get myself up, balanced, and um, kick the ball straight off the mat, which I did. And that I would put down to a lot of luck because uh, when you do kick the ball and it, it bounces four or five times before it does sail through, well, you, you know, law of averages are that it has to take a leg break or it has to go to the right or left. Um, 
that went fairly straight and, and decided to take a leg break just before it hit the post. So I was fortunate with that one and I'd put that down to a lot of luck. Boundary throw in, up over the top, Stasevich. No one can break clear. Attempt to the advantage of Dacos. Look at the gather. The right foot snap. This is a miraculous kick. This was um, one that I'll never forget because it was the first goal that we'd scored in the game. It was early on in the game. The ball was knocked towards the boundary by a third man up. It was Craig Stasevich. Um, I then uh, followed it up and it was one of those where Peter Cransbury, uh, Cransberg sorry, was uh, right on my hammer. And uh, it was one that I really, I, I couldn't take cleanly so I sort of, tapped it over to the boundary to get a little bit of space and then once I did that um, it gave me an opportunity to balance myself um, and then kick for goal and with that one I had enough time to steady up, run straight at the goals and was able I suppose to kick the most percentage of kicks which was the drop punt um, and the, the ball sailed through. Across the face of goal, Dacos and Gaston. He gets a kick, don't tell me he's kicked that. I will not believe it. It was one that I knew again where I, the goals were, basically because I'd run across the face of goals. I knew where I was positioned on the, the point post and it was one where I tried to, uh, to step so that he could run uh, past me. He didn't, he was sort of still in line with me. Um, so all I, I knew I had to do then was basically grab the ball and throw it straight onto my, my boot. But uh, as I sort of grabbed the ball and went to throw it onto my boot, I, um, again, I tried to get virtually come to a stop so that I was balanced. And then um, with that one, the ball went through. Good kick by Lehman into the breeze. Dacos stays down at the back. It's knocked away by Keyes. Here's the magician, near the boundary line. 30 metres out, Peter Dacos. Three kicks, three goals! I suppose being a crummer, I was in a forward pocket, the ball hit the ground. It wasn't a hell of a lot um, I could do. Again, it was, it was pretty congested. Uh, I remember the ball being thumped away or, or very close to the boundary line. Uh, I chased the ball, which gave me, I suppose, uh, the, uh, the advantage, I suppose, of, of being in front of my man. Terry Keyes was chasing me. I then had to uh, take possession of the ball, which I did. Um, then it was a matter of swinging onto my left, which was the, the normal, I suppose, uh, the only position I, or option I had left open to me. Uh, then I remember being cut off by a couple of Richmond players and I had to come back onto the um, uh, my right foot, which was very close to the boundary line, but I suppose it helps when um, you know your accuracy is on target, which it was. Um, again, using the most percentage of all kicks, which was the drop punt, uh, and it sailed through for a goal. Into the pocket he goes, a little too far. Dacos at the back. Can he produce something special here? It certainly wasn't a fluke because I think with, with, when you're in that situation you tend to just swipe at the ball and, and tend to kick it as hard as you can. I think um, if you look at it slowly, all I did, I looked at the goals and um, I tried, I was watching the way the ball was coming down. It was in mid-air which made it very difficult and I tried to hit the flat side of the ball um, so that basically the ball would, would go through and, and go through straight. So I was um, very fortunate, all I had to worry about was accuracy and um, uh, which I attained and, and the ball sailed through. He's not wasting any time getting the ball moving. Great bump by Darren Malay. In comes Brown. Collingwood lifting. Brown right on the boundary line. Back to Malay likewise. Dacos nearly runs out of room. Oh, He's fouled! I suppose my all-time favourite goal 
um, which a lot of people do talk to me about, is certainly in 1990 in the qualifying final against the West Coast Eagles when I kicked that one off the boundary late in the last quarter. I remember Gavin Brown winning the ball after a, a Darren Mullane solid bump, went to pants, he put it over to me and there wasn't a lot I could do and I was being so close to the point post I really couldn't centre it because you, you risk the chance of uh, the ball being kicked to someone and, and umpire calling play on. So um, I was very close to goal and the only thing I could do was kick the goal. I mean if I had to kick the left foot I really couldn't see a lot of the goals. Um, and I, I'm pretty certain the ball would have went across goals. So that was more uh, one where I tried to get it. Uh, I kicked an inside out boomerang, um, and I tried to get it as close to the goal line as possible, hoping that it would get there and then bounce in or, or go the right way. And I remember I think it, it did put us something like seven or eight points up. So it did give me a hell of a lot of pleasure, and um, certainly um, rates as my my favourite goal of all time. Well, I'm sure that my top 10 selection may cause a few arguments, but that's how they sit with me. I hope you've enjoyed this look back at the highlights of my career so far, and I hopefully can produce a lot more goals for the club over the next few years. See you at the footy. something special here.